Look. Garth, it's Heather Locklear. And she's signaling to us. There is a god. Heather be thy name. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. And yesterday, I saw some extremely exciting news. I was champing at the bit. I was frothing at the mouth to talk about the new comic publisher, Bad Idea. But I read that there was going to be more details the next day, so I had to hold off. And I'm ready to talk about today. Dinesh Shamdasani, Warren Simmons, and the Valiant crew are getting it back together. They're creating a brand new publishing arm called Bad Idea. And I'm going to talk about some of their ideas and the way they're implementing their new strategy in the comic book market. First, I'm going to read the article from CBR.com, breaking down a lot of the details. Then I'm going to talk about what I thought was great about Valiant, why I'm so excited about this news. I'm going to talk a little bit about what Dinesh and the other members of the team have been doing in the meantime. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the business strategy and why I've come down a little bit on my excitement because not all the news is great. Especially for me because I'm overseas and uh, it sounds like I won't be getting my hands on these comics for a very long time. First, let's read the article from CBR.com. After yesterday's teaser image, Bad Idea, the new comic book company from former Valiant Entertainment employees Hunter Gorison, Dinesh Shamdasani, and Warren Simmons has revealed how it plans to stand out in the crowded comics market. Contrary to many other publishers' approaches, Bad Idea will produce a limited number of series, releasing only one or two issues per month, priced at $3.99. Each issue will come in as a prestige format package, and there will be no variant covers, no digital copies, and no collected editions, as Bad Idea will instead focus on the single-issue monthly format. To that effect, the company will initially self-distribute its titles to 20 select comic book retailers. However, more will be added to that list over time, with plans to increase to 50 stores within the first year. As far as the forces behind Bad Idea, it is truly a valiant reunion, as the company will be led by co-CEO and co-Chief Creative Officer Dinesh Shamdasani, co-CEO and co-Chief Creative Officer Warren Simmons, publisher Hunter Gorison, director of marketing Joshua Johns, and sales consultant Adam Freeman. Meanwhile, Bad Idea has recruited such creators as Matt Kent and Doug Braithwaite, the team behind the company's debut title ENIAC, as well as Maycat, Joshua Dysart, Tomas Giarello, Louis LaRosa, Adam Polina, Robert Venditti, Marguerite Bennett, Eric Heiserer, Jody Hauser, Jeff Lemire, Peter Milligan, Zeb Wells, and more. ENIAC number one by Matt Kent and Doug Braithwaite arrives in May from Bad Idea. The reason why I am so excited about this is because Valiant Comics, when Dinesh Shamdasani relaunched it with a couple of partners back in 2012, all the way up until 2017, was without a shadow of a doubt, without question, the best shared comic universe in the history of the industry as far as I'm concerned. Everything about it was amazing. Everything tied together perfectly. The cast of Heroes were awesome. You had Exo Man of War, Ninja K, Shadow Man, Bloodshot, Faith for those who like that comic, Livewire, you had Harbinger. Eventually they introduced Rai and an entire new timeline in 4001 AD. And they had amazing events like The Book of Death, Harbinger Wars, uh, Armor Hunters, one of the best event books I've ever read in my life. I absolutely love Valiant Comics from 2012 until 2017. There's nothing that beats it. Basically, every single comic they published was awesome, except for Faith. Yeah, I didn't like Faith. But everything else was great. And if you haven't discovered Valiant Comics when Dinesh Shamdasani relaunched it in 2012, and you have Comixology Unlimited, you can literally read the entire line for five years. They have all the collected editions waiting to be read on Comixology Unlimited, and I cannot recommend it high enough. It is so amazing. I'm beyond ecstatic that Dinesh is getting the team back together and oversee a new comic book publishing line. Some of you may ask what happened in 2017 that changed everything. Well, while Dinesh Jamdasani was in charge as a chief creative officer over Valiant Comics, Warren Simmons was eventually promoted to editor-in-chief there, and under their leadership, they created an amazing world, 
and eventually they got a deal with Sony Comics to dis- to produce and distribute movies based on their hero characters. Sony wanted to jump back in on the superhero bandwagon as far as movies go, and Valiant has some really great characters. When that happened, it upped their profile a bit, it certainly made the company worth more money, and a Chinese entertainment venture named DMG Entertainment came in and bought Valiant Comics up, and Dinesh Shamdasani and the leadership team, they had to leave. But the original plan was for Warren Simmons, the editor-in-chief, he was going to stay behind and help lead the ship going into the future. But he also exited after a couple of months. Apparently, he didn't see eye to eye. I don't believe that was the original plan. At least, that's not what it sounded like when I read all the press releases and you read the interviews. But he eventually exited. The Chinese company brought in an entirely new editorial team, most notably Heather Antos. And if you want more information on that, I've actually made two videos on it. And I think Exo Manowar and the Fall of Valiant Comics is probably the better one if you want some history on all this. I'm going to have a link to those two videos in the video description. And basically, ever since the original creative team left and the new editorial team came in and brought in new creators like Vida Ayala, Max Visaggio, Colin Bunn, B. Claymore, and a host of other hack creators, Valiant has been dead. It has been a flaccid vessel. It does not resemble the quality that Dinesh and all the other creators behind Valiant Comics brought into it, and it basically died the moment he left and Warren Simmons left as well. But it's not just Dinesh Shamdasani, Warren Simmons, and Hunter Gorison coming back. They're bringing in a ton of the original Valiant creators. Matt Kent, in my opinion, the most underrated writer in all of comics. He wrote the original Ninja K series. After that, he wrote the Rai miniseries, which led into the 4001 AD event, and eventually he was handed the keys to the flagship character at Valiant Comics, Exo Man of War. Speaking of Exo Man of War, DC Comics writer Robert Venditti is also attached to Bad Idea in some capacity. He pitched the original idea for Exo Man of War for the relaunch of Valiant Comics. He was a writer on the very first series from Valiant Comics when they relaunched in 2012. In my opinion, his run on Exo Man of War is probably the best run in modern comics history. I know people are going to say that's crazy, but I, I love it. It's an amazing series. And it's probably the comic book that when I read it, before then, I knew I, I liked the idea of comics. When I, when I finally read the first three volumes of his Exo Man of War, I was a comic reader for life. I knew I was no longer interested in comics, but I loved him. Robert Venditti has meant so much to me, and I'm very happy that he's going to be back as well. Also returning is Tomas Giarello, one of the very best illustrators in the entire industry, not at DC Comics or Marvel Comics. He is flat out phenomenal. He's done lots of work of Ninja K, Exo Man of War, on lots of Valiant Comics. Love seeing him back as well. He's definitely the cream of the crop as far as the artists go, although Adam Pelina is a pretty good artist as well. And Doug Braithwaite is no slouch either. We also have some other big names that were attached to Valiant Comics prior. Jeff Lemire definitely being the biggest one, but we've also got Peter Milligan, uh, Joshua Dysart, who led their Harbinger series, which was kind of like Valiant's X-Men, and Jody Hauser's returning, who was the writer for their uh, body-positive hero, Faith, that no one likes, but she's back on the team as well. Another name I recognize is Marguerite Bennett. I don't remember her writing for Valiant Comics, but she's pretty good. I, I read the beginning of her run on, on Batgirl, also, I believe Eric Heiser has written some really impressive Alien or Predator books. I can't remember which one it is, but he's also a great writer as well. So there's a ton of great talent. We've been hearing that Warren Simmons was was collecting a bunch of talent together to do something. We've been waiting to hear the details, and this is it. Bad idea. It's coming in May, and I'm super excited by the idea of it. But I'm not so excited by the execution. There are some details in here that... That make me kind of sad, you know. I don't live in America. I'm not in California. And they're not releasing their comics in digital format. I understand the idea behind this. Digital comics lead to piracy. I completely understand where they're coming from. They don't want people pirating the books and distributing them while they're initially only going to be available at 20 stores nationwide. So fans of Dinesh Shamdasani, uh, Warren Simmons and, and Bad Idea, if you're not near those 20 select comic book retailers to begin with, it's going to suck. We're not going to have access to them. We're probably going to see maybe a review or two here and there. Probably some sneak previews on some of the comic book uh, review sites. 
but we're not going to be able to get our hands on it, and that absolutely sucks. They also have another plan where if you're one of the shops that's selected to sell their books, you can only sell one comic book per customer because I guess they don't want them going onto eBay and reselling them for a large uh, increase in cover price and people trying to make money off the limited distribution that they're doing. I do like the idea that they're self-distributing. They're not going through Diamond. You have to go directly to Bad Idea and be selected to actually get to sell their comic books. Diamond Comics is way out of date. It's a terrible distribution method. There are a lot of problems there. I like the idea that Dinesh and Warren and the rest of the team are going to do something to go around this and see if they can come up with a better mousetrap than Diamond Comics distributors. Of course, that also leads into why they're only distributing to 20 select retailers nationwide to begin with, while they plan to roll that number up to 50 by the end of the year. I do think the price point of $3.99 for prestige format books is awesome. I'm assuming they're going to be a little bit bigger than normal. I would expect a normal Bad Idea comic to be about 40 pages if it's truly prestige format. And for $4, that's a great price. I'm also very much in favor of their no variant covers, uh, no collected editions idea, far too many predatory practices associated with variant covers, and far too many worthless, unworthy books are being distributed in collected editions that don't come close to warranting that kind of distribution and acknowledgement. Only the best of the best comic stories, the most influential stories, should be distributed in collected editions. That'll basically wrap up my thoughts on Dinesh Shamdasani, Warren Simmons, and the crew getting back together for Bad Idea Comics. I'm extremely excited about this idea. I love all the talent. I love the creative oversight. Everything that these guys did with Valiant Comics was pure gold. It's absolutely my favorite comic universe, the best shared comic universe in my, my opinion, and I'm hoping that they can recreate that here with bad idea. Of course, they won't be using previously created characters like when they relaunched Valiant. Those characters were created during the 90s. I'm assuming these are all going to be fresh characters. I don't know if these are going to be niche comics. Are they going to be genre books? You know, is it going to be horror and sci-fi? You know, Valiant was essentially capes. I'm hoping it's capes, but if it's not, I'm still on board because Dinesh and crew are excellent. It sucks that I'm overseas. I'm not going to have access to any of these comics because they won't be released in digital. They're only being distributed to 20 uh, comic stores nationwide in America. But hopefully sooner than later, these will be distributed nationwide and eventually make their way over here to the Philippines where I can enjoy them as well because this feels like something special and I couldn't be more excited. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter, at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.